Hello guys, welcome into another video. I hope you are all doing wonderful. Thank you all for being here. Uh, I just wanted to uh, take a minute to apologize for the lack of videos and just kind of some delays and things that have happened recently. Um, I've been uh, kind of busy with some freelance work and just kind of some personal things going on that I've been working through. I um, recently was diagnosed with ADHD and uh, just learning a lot about that and um, kind of understanding how that affects me. Um, it's something that I didn't realize that I had for a very long time. So yeah, I'm just trying to kind of figure out how that affects me and how to work around some of those things. But I am seeing a doctor and uh, getting a lot of help with that. So things are going in the right direction. So I am making some good progress with that. But today I just wanted to talk a little bit about what you're seeing here, this project, and just talk a little bit about some of the stuff that is going to be coming up and share with you a bunch of um, upcoming news and things for the channel that I'm really excited to talk about. So let's go ahead and get in. I've got kind of a just a time lapse that I'm going to run of me just creating this in Blender and um, I'll just talk about some things along the way. So let's go ahead and get into it. One thing briefly that I want to talk about is uh, maybe just actually ask you guys for advice on this. My channel is focusing on kind of two different subjects a lot of times. And while it's all centered around game development, I feel like there are two main, main types of videos. So we have kind of the programming, creating systems where you uh, set up a puzzle or a specific system for using in your game. And I try to do my best to really show you a very thorough way of doing this and set it up in a modular way so that you can uh, fully integrate it into your own game and get things working there. The other type of video is more on the art side of things. So things like the uh, environment design videos, creating different environments or assets, uh, or sometimes looking at specific games to learn more and analyze how we can grow as an environment artist. Um, my passion is really here on the art side of things, but I also really enjoy creating systems and just kind of learning things about uh, blueprints and programming as I go along and especially just helping others. I really do just genuinely love helping you guys and I just want to say thank you all so much for your amazing support. Um, but I guess my question is, do you guys like this type of format? Uh, would you prefer that I focus more on the environment art or maybe the systems part? Or do you like the balance that we have right now where it's a mix of the two? I have thought about creating a separate channel specifically for environment art, but I'm not really sure if that's the best way to go. Um, so anyway, I would love to hear what you guys think on this. And uh, if you guys have anything to say, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Now, next up, I just wanna talk a little bit about uh, some of the things that I've been working on lately, specifically for the first person horror tutorials and the first person horror character and those kind of things. Um, I've gotten a bit messy with some of my previous projects and uh, I want to do a little bit of an overhaul to condense everything into one single project. My ultimate goal is to create an entire template for you guys to create your own game from start to finish. What I'm doing here is creating kind of like a little haunted house map for us to use as a template to test and set up all of the different systems. Now, of course, all of the previous tutorials are still completely valid and we'll be using a mixture of all of those, as well as new puzzles and systems that I'm working on for tutorials. Uh, things like a full objective system, um, a complete update to the first person character, HUD, UI elements, uh, health systems, inspection, notes, flashlight, inventory, footsteps, cutscenes, jump scares, notification systems, much, much more. Um, so I have a detailed list of all of these things, but as always, feel free to request any specific systems or tutorials that you would um, like me to look into, and I will do my absolute best to get to those. 
in the immediate future. So um, either maybe late this week or definitely next week, I will be having hopefully kind of an updated um, tutorial for just like our general project here that I'm going to talk about a few things that I have updated just in terms of the character that I'm using and um, just kind of give us like a, a good starting point for that. Now, again, all of the stuff that we've done before is still perfectly valid. You can absolutely continue using all of that stuff. We're going to be using all of that stuff. Uh, but, uh, you know, as always, you learn things, pick up um, new things and uh, want to either integrate th uh, those or uh, maybe rework some of the things. So I'll be going over some of those ideas and talk a little bit about that very soon. In terms of tutorials, I've got a really big objectives uh, system that I'm creating that I'm really excited about um, that I'll be showing how to do that. And there's a lot of kind of HUD and UI stuff that I've been getting into. Uh, personally, I hate dealing with UI, but it's a necessary uh, part of making a game, of course. So we got to cover some of that stuff. And um, there's there's so much stuff that we need to cover to eventually get to more complex things like inventories. I know everyone is wanting those systems and I will get to those, I promise. But um, there are just a lot of things that we need to kind of get to before we can start getting to all of that. And as always, I want to try to give you guys the most modular way of doing something so that um, you can, you know, create it in your own game and not necessarily just copy exactly what I'm doing and have to use it in the exact same way that I'm using it here. More than anything, I just love creating content and I just want to keep doing that and sharing uh, with you all what I learn along the way. I'm so glad that I'm able to share all of this with you and I love seeing the, the things that you guys make. So please, by all means, share your games, your projects, anything that you're making. Um, I love seeing that. So share it in the Discord or feel, feel free to tag me on social media uh, whenever you're sharing your work. I love to see all of that stuff. If you enjoy the kind of videos that I've been making, or if you're new here and you uh, think this sounds like a cool place um, with some cool videos that are coming up, I would love for you to uh, continue helping me out by liking, and commenting, subscribing if you haven't already. It always helps so much. Uh, if you want to support me even further and get some great perks, feel free to check out the links below. Uh, where you can get early access to videos, uh, free assets that I give out every month, project files, and much, much more. Um, I also sell some assets on Fab if you ever need any assets for your game. Uh, you can check those out. Um, I have a few different types of environments and just kind of some standard assets that are mostly geared around horror games. Um, but if you ever need any great assets, then um, feel free to check those out. And I just wanna say a huge, huge thank you to everyone who has gone that extra mile to support me in any of those ways. It means the world to me and it has really enabled me to uh, continue to put more time into working on this and doing what I love. So thank you all so, so much for that. I try to keep everything reasonably priced so that you don't have to spend a fortune to get assets and support me that way. I'll probably package this project and put it up on Fab for a very small fee if you want to get access to everything and use it as a template to start your game. Uh, it'll be very inexpensive, especially up front. Um, as I continue to add things to it, I might raise the price a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. And um, of course, on Patreon, the project files will be there as well. So if you uh, would just rather go that way and get the, the project files, then I will make them available there as well. Um, but yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Um, again, I'm sorry for uh, taking a little time off, but very excited about all the stuff that uh, we've got coming up. And I thank you guys all so very much. And I uh, can't wait to get some of these tutorials out for you guys. So thank you all. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Take care, guys.